Hi, my name is Bruce. I want to talk to everybody about smart home technology. Um, first of all, who am I? I'm an electrical contractor in New South Wales, and I want to talk about uh, the various types of smart homes and why I have chosen to go down the avenue of Clipsal Wiser and why am I making these videos? Because the reason I'm making the videos is because there is no video support for the products when you go to use it. And so I think it'd be a handy thing to have as a reference for the products, how to use them. So first of all, we all know smart homes come in all different uh, sort of levels. You have the basic level home handyman type that you can get from Bunnings. Yeah, that's all well and good, and it serves a purpose. Entry, I would call it entry level. But we're, as electrical contractors, we're not interested in that. We're interested in professional level installations. So we, the product I've chosen is Clipsal Wiser because it's supported by Clipsal, who are owned by Snyder. It's an international brand. It has a wide range of um, uh, sensors and uh, controllers, and it has integrated with it the iconic range of switches. So it's really easy to use. And the switches can all be wired up to be, you know, smart home redundant. It doesn't need the smart home to make it work. To turn on the light, you just can turn the light on at the switch if you need to. And this level of smart home is basically the first level is to provide a, a smart home is to connect the devices via a hub. And the Clips or Wiser system uses a Zigbee uh, protocol hub, which is connected to the internet via either LAN or via the um, Wi-Fi connection. I prefer to use the Wi-Fi connection. It's simple and easy to use. Once you connect to the, the hub, to the uh, server, you now have the brain of the system connected. So this smarts, you might say. So that that's where all the technology is stored, the, the decision making and everything. So you can you can start adding devices and adding adding software basically to the system. So the Clipsal system has, like I said, it has cameras, it has a hub, it has a all the devices and they connect together via a hub and they operate basically on your phone, on your mobile phone. There's an app and everything is connected via the mobile phone. So the first thing to do, you would need an account, the Clips or Wiser account, Wiser SE. And once you have the app on your phone, then you can start uh, connecting devices and making a home. The professional electrician will design your house so that yeah, this, everything will work in the event that the internet goes down. Everything, basically, the fundamentals of the house will still work. So with a smart home, once you have it connected to your phone, all the devices connected to your phone, that's okay. You carry around your phone in your pocket. Yeah, you can use, you can turn things on and off, uh, receive notifications and all that sort of stuff from your mobile phone. But the mobile phone is pretty small and it's not really the tool to be using in, in the home. It's more a tool to use outside the home to control the devices if you're not there. In your home, you're better off using something like a Google Home Control or a lecture to control the devices in your home. The Google Home Control Center has a nice big screen and you can uh, set the rooms up. They're easy to use by on the touch screen. Or you could simply go, hey Google, turn on this or hey Google, do this. and uh, Hey Google Home Control Center will, will do it. And to transfer the, the uh, uh, Wiser Home from your phone to the Google Home Control Center is really, really easy. There's a little bit of filling around to make sure you're in the, you've got all the naming right, so that uh, Google will respond. But yes, it's not really difficult at all. So I, I would definitely recommend that as the next step. So you need the Google Home Control Center if you're going to have a smart home and you need the stuff on your phone so when you're out of the home you can still control things for example i have a uh, automated gate i want to operate the gate in the event i'm not there i want to be able to operate the gate 
from my mobile phone. So I have a camera, which I can see the gate from, make sure it's safe to open or close the gate, and I can operate the gate remotely from my phone. So it's very, very handy. But at home, when I'm in my own home, I can just go, hey Google, open the gate. And Google will open the gate. I don't need to worry about going to my phone. It's a much simpler operation, and it's like, yeah, really professional. So I, I'm going to make these videos. Uh, each week we'll, we'll be making one or two videos about how to connect the devices to the hub, how to program the switches together, so to get a network of sort of software two-way switching, and how to do run-on timers, you know, how to connect devices such as you might have an existing light motion sensor that you want to connect to the wiser system, but don't know how. So, yeah, I can show you how to connect that, that simple device and make it a smart device and connect it into the system. So I'll have all kinds of automations of all the devices to show you how they work. Right down to the door, there's a door switch. We can get the door switch to send us notifications such that they, maybe that you left the gate open, such as that. And further after that, we'll be doing a video on um, surge protection. We have this electronic stuff now connected to a house. Yeah, it's pretty important that you install surge protection. So we'll be running a video on how to do surge protection. Just think we'll just make a single phase one. Free phase one is pretty much the same, but we'll do a single phase one, a step-by-step -step installation of that as well. So uh, I look forward to seeing you when we um, get further. I think in the, the follow-up of this video, there'll be some photos of the devices uh, in their boxes and maybe some photos of some unpacked devices actually installed, just to get, get you set up so that you get the feeling. But you can always go to the Clipsal Wiser website and log on. If you're a contractor, you can do the training. They have training programs. And yeah, that gives you a good start. But yeah, I would suggest that if you get the opportunity to watch these videos, it'll be, yeah, a big hand, uh, it'll be handy because things like how to set up the app, if you're going to have multiple customers, you need to have them in a separate account so that when it comes time to add them to Google, yeah, you're not adding all the homes together, you can add just one home. So there's little tips like that that I'll be telling you and letting you know about at the beginning when you first set up your first home. And that'll be the next video when we set that first home up. So thanks very much. Cheers.